Hello everyone. In last video lecture, we discussed about aggregate properties and testers part 1. In this video lecture, we are going to see about aggregate properties and testers part 2. It includes what is meant by course aggregate, how it is stored and what are the testers available to check the quality of the course aggregate. Before going into this topic, we have to know what is meant by course aggregate. Course aggregate which is nothing but irregular broken stone or naturally occurring sand gravel which is used for making the concrete. The material which are large to be retained on 4.75 mm sieve sizes are called as coarse aggregates and the maximum sizes can be used up to 63 mm. Coarse aggregate is generally obtained by blasting of stone quarries or breaking them by hands or by crushers. Machine crushed stones are generally consist of varying sizes of stones and the hand broken aggregates consist of similar sizes of stones. Before using the aggregates, it should be washed well. For structural mass concrete work, the aggregate preferred as broken stones of hard rock such as granite and limestone or river gravels. For non-structural mass concrete work, the aggregate preferred as broken bricks, formed slag and clinker etc. Let's see what are the maximum sizes of aggregates used for various work. For non-reinforced work, the maximum sizes should be from 40 mm to 75 mm, that is 1.5 inch to 3 inch. For RC foundation work, the maximum sizes should be from 40 mm, that is 1.5 inch. For RC work such as beam, slab, column in buildings, the maximum sizes should be from 20 mm, that is 3 by 4 inch. For shell roof and thin members, the maximum sizes should be from 10 mm, that is 3 by 8 inch. Now see how the aggregates to be stored. The aggregates to be stored and handled carefully to avoid the contamination from dirt. The selector site should be clean and hot patch of ground, keeping in view the position of mixture and convenience in handling. If a good platform is not available, an artificial platform should be prepared out of planks, bricks or lean concrete. The fine aggregate and coarse aggregate of different sizes should be stored in a separate block. To prevent segregations, excessive consignments should not be dropped on each pile of aggregate to form a pyramid. To avoid excessive moisture content on the pile of aggregates, it should be stored on a large area but low in height not existing 1 meter. Before using the aggregate, it should be stand for at least one day. Now let's see what are the testers which is available to test the quality of the coarse aggregate. Crushing strength test, abrasion test, impact test, soundness test, shape test, specific gravity and water absorption test. Now let's see crushing strength of aggregates. The crushing strength of aggregates shows the strength of aggregates which is the most important property of aggregate. It provides the relative measure of resistance to crushing under the compressive loads. For achieving the high quality of roads and pavements, aggregate of higher strength should be preferred. It, that is low crushing value. Low crushing value means higher strength. It indicates the lower crushed fractions under the applied loads. It gives the longer service life and more economical performance. Let's see the recommendation result of crushing strength. The value of crushing strength should not be more than 30 percentage of the total weight of the aggregate taken for the test. For road and pavement works, the crushing strength value aggregate should not be more than 30%. For other works, it may be permitted up to 45%. Standard guidelines which is used for crushing strength test such as IS 2386 part 4 1963 and BIS 812-110-1990. The apparatus which is used to determine the crushing strength test such as compressing testing machine, sieving sizes 12.5 mm, 10 mm, 2.36 mm, weighting machine, cylindrical mold. The cylindrical mold such as 15 cm diameter with the plunger and base plate. Let's see the procedure for pressing strength test. Taking a sample of aggregates passing through 12.5 mm sieve and retained on 10 mm sieve and it's weighted and taken as W1. The sample of aggregates placed into the cylindrical mold. After that, the mold is placed into the compression testing machine and applying the load gradually of 40 tons in 10 minutes. After that, remove the aggregates from the mold and sieved into the 2.36 mm sieve and weighted and it's taken as W2. The formula which is used to calculate the crushing strength value 
as W1 divided by W2 multiply 100, the value which is expressed in percentage. Next one is abrasion test. This test is carried out to find out the abrasion value of aggregate. The principles of Los Angeles abrasion test is used to calculate the percentage of wear between the rubbing actions of steel bars such as abrasive charges and aggregates. This test indicates the toughness and hardness of aggregates. This test shows the ability of aggregate to resist the wear and tear. Next one, recommendation result of abrasion test. The abrasion value of aggregate should not be more than 30 percentage for aggregate of surface weathering cores and should not be more than 45 percentage for surfaces other than weathering cores. The standard guidelines used for conducting the abrasion test are IS2386 part 4 1963 and BS8121101990. The apparatus used for conducting the abrasion value testers are Los Angeles abrasion machine, steel bars, 11 numbers, weighting balance, sieve sizes 20 mm, 12.5 mm, 10 mm, 1.17 mm. Procedure for conducting the abrasion testers. The Los Angeles abrasion testing machine consisting of a cylindrical drum mounted on the horizontal axis and it can be rotated. Take a sample of aggregates which is passing on 12.5 mm and retained on 10 mm and it's weighted and taken as W1. Placing the aggregates into the cylindrical drum with the steel poles and the drum is then rotated at the revolution of 500 to 10,000 at a speed of 30 to 33 rpm depending upon the gradation of aggregates. After rotation, the aggregates is removed and then it is passed to the sieving size 1.17 mm and it is weighted and taken as W2. The difference between the initial weight W1 and W2 is expressed in percentage and it is the abrasion value of aggregates. Next we are going to see impact test on aggregate. Aggregate impact test gives the ideas about how much the aggregate resists the impact load. Actually aggregate should be sufficiently tough to resist their disintegration due to their impact load. This disintegrative property is said to be aggregate impact value. The recommendation result for aggregate impact value test is similar to the abrasion test. It should not be more than 30 percentage for aggregate for surface bearing courses and it should not be more than 45 percentage for surfaces other than bearing courses. The apparatus used for conducting the impact value testers are impact testing machine ISC 12.5 mm, 10 mm and then 2.36 mm cylindrical cup weighting balance. Procedure for impact value test. Take a sample of aggregates passing through 12.5 mm and retained on 10 mm and it's weighted and taken as W1. Fill the sample of aggregate into the cylindrical mold. Place the mold into the impact testing machine with the base plate and administrator 15 numbers of blows of a metal hammer. After the crushed aggregates removed from the mold and passed into the 2.36 mm ISC and it's weighted and noted as W2. The formula which is used to calculate the impact value testers aggregates are W1 divided by W2 multiply 100. Next one is soundness test. It indicates the durability of aggregate. It shows the ability of aggregate to resist the adverse effect of weathering. The soundness of aggregate is carried out to learn the resistance of aggregate to weathering actions like freezing and thawing, alternate wetting and drying, variations in temperature in salt water. If the aggregate fail to resist such conditions, it is said to be unsound. Recommendation result for sodium testers should not be more than 12 percentage after 10 cycles when tested with sodium or magnesium sulfate solutions. Apparatus required are sodium or magnesium sulfate solutions, oven, weighting balance, ISCs. Procedure for soundness test. Take a well graded aggregates and weighted it. Immerse the aggregates into the sodium or magnesium sulfate solutions for 16 to 18 hours. After immersion, take out the aggregates and placed in the oven for drying. Repeat this cycle over a process according to the requirement and then measure the loss of weights. Next one is shape test of aggregates. Aggregates are available in various sizes and shapes that is cubical, angular, flaky, elongated and rounded. It is proved that flaky and elongated aggregates are less strength, less durability, less interlocking, less bonding when compared to the cubical, angular and rounded aggregates. 
flattening aggregates are too thin compared to their average sizes that is their mean dimension and elongated aggregates are too long compared to their average sizes elongation index test and flattiness index test are to be performed to find out the plaque and elongated aggregates recommendation results for safe test of aggregate should be in the range of 15% to 30% according to the area of use apparatus required are thickness gauge length gauge is sieve weighting balance procedure for safe test of aggregate take the sample of aggregate of 200 pieces of any fraction and weight it gauge on each aggregate on length as well as the thickness gauge take the weight of the aggregate which is retained from length gauge for the elongation index take the weight of the aggregate which is passing through the thickness gauge for the flattiness index calculate the percentage of aggregate passing the gauges and the initial weight it is said to be elongation index calculate the percentage of aggregate which is retained on the gauge and then initial weight which is for the flattiness index next one is water absorption and specific gravity of aggregates specific gravity of aggregates is defined as the ratio of weight of aggregate to the weight of equal volume of water it shows the strength of aggregates aggregates having low specific gravity are generally weaker water absorption of aggregates gives an idea about the internal structure of aggregates if the aggregate having more water absorbing capacity then it is said to be porous in nature such aggregates are not suitable for construction works recommendation results the specific gravity of aggregate ranges between the 2.5 to 3 for construction works and water absorption 0.1 to 2 percentage next is procedure for conducting the test take a sample of aggregates and placed in the wire basket and immersed in the distilled water for 24 hours then take the weight of the aggregate and wire basket in water as a2 after that remove the basket and aggregates from the water and take the weight of wire basket in suspended water and take denoted as a2 then dry those aggregates with a dry cloth and take the weight of aggregates and denoted as b after that place the aggregates in the oven and dry for 24 hours then weigh the aggregates then taken as c the formula used to calculate the specific gravity of aggregates are c divided by b minus a and then water absorption of aggregates are b minus c divided by c multiply 100 let's come to an end of the session hope you all understand about the aggregate properties and testers part 2 in the upcoming video lecture we are going to see about admixtures in concrete thank you